is Shane, by the way. He very kindly sorted out our van within 24 hours when the clutch went. Yeah, right. Absolute legend. So, so this is the old one day flywheel. This used to be completely solid, right? Yeah, yeah. So the way they've designed it is, this is a dampener as well as that. Yeah. So this takes engine vibration and torque and makes it a lot smoother to take off. Right. You feel it's like, it's meant to be like a tradies van, but yeah. it's quite smooth to drive. Yeah. A lot of it's to do with things like this. Yeah. Right. But they're expensive. The actual clutch itself, you'll see how all these holes are elongated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They should look like a little bit more like that. Mm. But basically this whole plate has gotten so thin that it's spun. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's when it would have lost. Is that why it's sudden power. is that why it suddenly lost power? That's why it completely lost power because that would have just slipped yeah. and then was no longer gripping to anything. You can see right. on here yeah. all the scratch marks. Oh no way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's actually burn marks as well, isn't yep, it? Yep, they're hot spots. Yeah, yeah. Alright. This point in time we would just go get that over the lathe and machine yeah, it flat. Yeah, but yeah. This is the reason the price is so high, because we had to replace both the clutch and the flywheel. Whereas normally you can just replace the clutch, don't you? Mm -hmm. oh, so embarrassing. I stalled the car as I turned it on as we left the mechanic. <laughs> but I stalled because the clutch is so sharp now. You charged us 2,600? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, nice guy. Not his fault that it was so expensive. Because the problem was, like, obviously we got towed there, and I said to Amy, like, when you get towed to a mechanic, I bet they rub their hands together and think it's Christmas because, you know, we haven't got any other option. Like, it's just another three hundred dollars to tow us somewhere else. But we were a bit at his mercy because he could have charged us whatever he wanted, really, because we couldn't move the vehicle. We towed it here, and he just so happened to be a decent fella. So I've just finished the cupboards up here, or well, the frame of them, and I'll show you what I've done. So I've got two of these attaching it to the wall on each cupboard. I've got on each of these uh, four, sometimes even ten screws. Um, there's actually there's actually 300 screws <laughs> just in this shelf uh, frame here. So now is the ultimate test. Will it hold my weight? <laughs> it's actually a good way of like, you know, testing it. So uh, we know it holds like, you know, whatever I weigh at the moment, like 80 kilos or so. We bought this just from Bunnings. It's just from my desk. Amy's just kindly uh, glossed that for me. She's put some varnish on it for me. And then these are the samples that she's done, trying to find a color that we like. So we've cut the hole for the sink. Which we did with a jigsaw. This is where we discover it's too small and we've got like stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Lack of gloves. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if this is an approved way of doing things, but it seems to work the better than anything, doesn't it? Finger. Yeah. Mm. Now Amy is doing the precision job. Is it working that? Yeah, really well. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Feed great. her chocolate while she does it. <laughs> I think that looks great. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well done. So at head level, which you're at now, it just kind of changes the whole vibe in here. Like everything's suddenly like really close to the head. And I didn't like that. I like how airy it is at the moment with just these cupboards over here. So we had to change the heart. And instead, we're going to put another cupboard here so that this becomes like a separate area in here. Ta -da. Right. Do you like it? Yeah, really like it. It's a nice colour, isn't it's it? It's a really nice colour. Does it pick up on camera? It it's so. kind of goldy on camera. It's, it's just nice. the perfect, it's not dark, but not light. Yeah. I really like it. I really like the, uh, the, knots. the knots that come from the little branches. Yeah. Oh, this is strong enough. See what I mean? Mm. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> yes. It's such an angle. That's hilarious. So now I am manufacturing a piece 
that will match the angle of the wall in here so it'll lay flat. Such a mission. How cool is that? Amy, I love it. Yeah, I love it too. You love it too? Just press these buttons. How good is that? Uh, like, look, it just like opens the space up immediately. It's so good. Robert's nervous. I did it more generous than I thought, just in case. Ow! You may be mooning. Oh. <laughs> no, you're not, you're fine. <laughs> Sex sales. I want views, goddammit. Look at that, perfect. Oh, it's so good. We're gonna trace it. I feel like this is almost like light pornography at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. So, how are you going to trace it now you've taken it yeah, out? Yeah, I know. That's what I just said. But like you said, can you just... I think so, yeah. I think now, if you just do the opposite, draw a line here. It's it's a bit too much science though, isn't it? Uh, we're stupid people. Like, it puzzles me. Is that the same if you now cut it there? It, I think so. Cause it doesn't it's... look the same. Oh, it's no, so it's not confusing. the same. Is it? <laughs> Are we dumb? I think we're definitely dumb. <laughs> no, it's not the same. It's, it's not the same because this is long and yeah. this is short. Yeah, okay. Is it? <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to mention why we're doing this. Like, this is a um, a weight saving exercise. So, normally people put um, ply boards down here, but we're putting core flute which is a really lightweight sort of plastic sheet first blood of the day from trying to get this stupid screw in as i'm twisting it this edge is sharp from the angle grinder it's gone first blood drawn of the day oh amy's first, first blood, blood of the day that's why i don't use pencils do you want a hand no, okay. do you want me to do it you can't use a jigsaw though it's too, too dangerous with those little bits i know it's okay so we're just measuring up the stencil which we painstakingly cut bit at a time off to make to make it the perfect shape that fits like this column each little bit of metal Remember to drink your water, people. Dehydrate, rehydrate. Pause this video and go drink a glass of water. <laughs> no, I want people to keep watching us, don't we? So. And then come back to the video. <laughs> or just bring your laptop, iPad, drink iPhone water. with you. Yeah, drink water, except when you're watching our videos. <laughs> right, so this doesn't go in, does it? So it doesn't fit. You need to cut it in half. I can't get it yet. How's it looking? To the seam. Can like, you get any fingers back I can't even get my hand. finger in here, it's perfect. Even this bit here is perfect where it curves. It's also good. Yeah, I can't get fingers. Oh my god, we've nailed Only it. Only here. Um, bracketed them in just to keep them, stop them uh, sliding around. And then there's a bit of a gap, so we're going to put something underneath it um, to trim it out nicely. And then fill this in with some filler. Every time we leave, I'm always like, make sure there's no screw no screws under the tires. Whenever we move away with the van, I run around and check like under the tires for like screws and bits and bobs. And then look at this, Amy, hold this. I was just showing Amy. Bottom of my shoe. Don't know if you can see. It's it. a piece of like scrap metal, but it is like. Okay. Oh my god! That was in there like half an inch. Did you not feel it on your foot? No, it's razor sharp. How do you know it's in there? I just felt something sticking in the floor in there. Oh, come on. Sorting out. I'm finishing off this wall. Yeah. So we made this yesterday. Hair. Again, this is just the same as always. I can't get it open now. It's uh, core flute on this side, 
just to protect the foam. Four centimeters of foam, and then a layer of that polyester um, blanket, mm -hmm. and then plastic sheeting to stop it all getting moldy, essentially. It's yep. a vapor barrier. Bit dirty, <laughs> but good. This I bolted in here, and now with this, we can see from bed, like from this level, we can see that, uh, you know, the door's locked, with this at least. Um, so it's just another layer of security. I wasn't gonna show people that, but I mean, it just goes to show how much security we have. Like, you'd have to get an angle grinder. I don't even think you could reach with an angle grinder. It'd be, tr it'd be tricky. I'm making a box for shitting in. A shitty box. We bought a toilet seat. And that's going to sit basically in a box. And then we're going to separate the ones and twos. Because the ones, I think it's something like the ones are acidic. So like, if they go in the twos, the twos don't turn into compost or whatever if you put the stuff on them. It's like science and shit. Oh, this is the wrong screw. Metal screw. So whatever the last thing your screw goes into is the screw type you use. So if you're putting a bracket into wood, metal into wood, if I was even doing this, I'd want a wood screw. But metal into metal, the last thing the screw is fixing into is metal, so you use a metal screw. And if I was fixing wood, if I was fixing wood to metal, I would use a metal screw. This is very much how things go all the time for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why it's not square, oh, we're not sure. I think it needs another half a centimetre. Yeah, we'll be alright. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Bart's job, Bart's job, Bart's job, Bart's job, Bart's job, Bart's job. <laughs> Sweet. So they will all be through the wood, through the bracket now and into the metal underneath. Look at this. Sometimes my own brilliance surprises me. Look at this. So I wanted to make it like a really tight seal to stop the smells. And so we have managed it. So open it. Oh yeah. And then close it. Oh, you can't oh, even man. hold it up. You can't even see the sun through the gap. Oh! We're having two layers. We've got a plastic layer we're putting on, and then we're gonna have a shiplap layer over the top. Sigaflex or silicon, all in here, um, just to keep the smells uh, out of the van. And then, uh, and then we're gonna have a hole in the floor somewhere without hitting the fuel tank. Fortunately, these didn't hit the fuel tank. The screws that I put in for the floor there. I checked that afterwards and luckily it hadn't gone through. But yeah, we're gonna put a hole in the floor uh, and then have a fan there and that'll uh, circulate the air. So we'll have, probably have a switch and then put some like bug mesh over that as well to stop creepy crawlies coming in. Because the last thing you want when you're sat on the toilet is a huntsman coming out your backside. Right, Amy butt test. Amy yeah, butt. Does it doesn't move at all. Amy butt test. Down. No, oh, it doesn't move an inch. No. I don't think it moves at all. Bounce on it. Just... No, not bounce. No, I'm not being sex. I'm not being sexual. I was being genuine. You think I make another X-rated movie? It feels good. So here it is, the final product. So this lid lifts up, and then we've got a toilet underneath. But this is actually really handy because you may not know this about Amy, but she's a wild pinkler. A wild pinkler is the German. <laughs> One who enjoys urinating <laughs> in the wild, outdoors. So this should stop Amy wild pinkling everywhere, which is wild peeing. Just to clarify, it's just when we hike. It's not on a day-to-day -day basis. It's all the time. She stops in the middle of the street and she's wild. not true. She's a wild pinkling maniac. We haven't got to go into the van, 
and walk through the van, potential tripping hazard with like a week's worth of shit. Instead, we just like, straight out. Super handy. And if someone like cuts us off at a roundabout or something like that, we just park next to them, open our shit box. If, I don't know, man, if, there are, if, if people aren't impressed by this, I don't know what's going to impress them. <laughs> Why are you watching this video? Because <laughs> I think this is the best thing ever. I think it's awesome. Have you ever seen a toilet more beautiful than this? Like, come on. It's great, isn't it? It's great. Look at it. I bet people are like, it's this box. With the <laughs> it's a box with a toilet seat on it. <laughs> it looks great. It's the cutest toilet you've ever seen. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? We're getting yeah. there. And then under here, I want to make a little box for some shoe storage. So when we get in, we can take our shoes off. Yeah. And then step in. Now the next part, <laughs> genius. I don't know if you've seen this. So this is Amy's desk. Amy's desk is made of the same piece of wood as the kitchen cabinet to keep it all like looking normal, looking nice. It goes down here. Yeah. <laughs> but it does work. It goes down here like that. And then this piece of wood we're going to keep under the bed has a leg on it. And then that goes there. And this will also have a permanent cushion on it. And there you have it. I'm watching TV. I want a beer. I open the fridge. I reach inside. It doesn't even hit my knees. Beer. Oh, what's that? I need to go to the toilet. Well, I can keep my eyes on the TV, not miss a second, go to the toilet. Yes, move sit back. down pee. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down pee. I'm a man, I don't sit down pee. <laughs> You just sat down, or was that a poo? Uh, you think I'm going to start sitting down pee? I'm watching... Oh yeah, you can't miss. I'm watching sport. Like. I think you have to. <laughs> I'm not having you miss in that toilet. We're going to cut this uh, here in the floor, and we're going to take all the floorboards out from that side out. So we're losing about a third or more of our floorboards, because they're heavy. They're, they're a MDF, laminated MDF, and the MDF wood's really heavy. So we're going to take all that out, and then we're just going to put in the centimetre thick PVC, which I'll show you, we've got a piece of it. You know, it was the stuff we used for above the cab. We just got back from the lumber yard because I needed to get a little bit more wood. And uh, what was it he called the toilet? The Thunderbox. Thunderbox, mate. Like this like six year old guy from the lumber yard. I was like, oh yeah, mate, that's a proper Thunderbox. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the thing again, where we sit in the car, try to find the willpower to start working on it. I'm just saying, one thing that's amazing is like how much our hands hurt. Like mm -hmm. they're just like, I think it's just from screwing constantly, like the little screws. <clears throat> Not from having sexual encounters. <laughs> Not that kind of screwing. <laughs> We're both exhausted. <laughs> It's been a lot more work than we realised. It's, it's not been a lot more work. It's been like the work's been more like physically demanding. Really physically demanding, yeah. So we will be having a break for a couple of weeks after this and doing nothing. I'm going to be attending Hogwarts Academy. <laughs> 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 no, but I, I might play I might play the Harry Potter game for a couple of weeks. You might, you will. <laughs> yeah, probably will. I'm just annoyed. We spent so much money on this van. I'm not going to be playing it on a PS5. I'm playing it on the Xbox One. Ugh. But firstly, what we're going to show you today is I'm going to actually take out the floor that I put in yesterday. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. You might break it though. Maybe I'll be careful. I want to weigh it. And then we're going to weigh it, and I'm going to weigh the pieces we took out yesterday and see how much weight we saved during the exercise. There's only one piece of metal I need to take off and then like shimmy it out. It's a bit risky, but we need to do it for the viewers. For the viewers. What's your bet? 10 kilos. I'm going to go big. I'm going to say that we've, we've saved 15 kilos. <laughs> oh. We've had 20 before. I know, but I'm too nervous. Oh. I'll go 20 then, 20. I. I'm a schvelt after all that walking. 79 kilograms. 79.1 with my clothes on. <laughs> 102, so that's 20 kilos. 
shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of contention. 102.3. Yeah. So 22.3 kilos. So unless this weighs 2.3 kilos. <laughs> oh, 89.7. So 12 kilos. So 12 kilos we saved. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm closer. <laughs> I guess that's kind of good. We that's saved. Quite a lot. Is that well? It's not when you consider that the van's total weight is three and a half tons. I've saved a teeny bit. <laughs> and there we have it. It looks really professional because it's plastic. Um, it's so smooth and perfect finish, and obviously really good for like wet stuff, like beach stuff. Just chuck that in there. We don't have to worry about the water like seeping into the floor. Um, so yeah, perfect, and saved us 12 kilos. So this was meant to be a defecatory aid. <laughs> you like it? Mm. Because apparently if you put your legs up, it helps all the... Um, gets you in the right position. Gets you in the right position, so I thought, why not? But, Amy, will you please be the, will you please be the mo model? <laughs> So it has to be this high so it can like lie flat and then go up. So this is the minimum height it can be. <laughs> it's a bit high. Oh, you're putting too much pressure on it. Yeah, it has to be there. <laughs> That's This is the minimum height it can be. Looks like you're going to the toilet the old fashioned way. <laughs> So this is now drilled into the floor and these won't slide around and it's absolutely rock solid. So it's getting dark now. We've got some phones up there for our torches. And we're currently putting in a drawer over here. So now we've got the water tank in, which is really awesome. Because it was gonna go just under here, on this side, opposite the kind of opposite side to the fuel tank. We're going to put it just on this side. Um, but obviously, if it fell off, it would go directly under the wheel. And so, I had to make sure it was a really good job. And we're just a bit tired, and it's quite a big job to just make sure it's super safe. So, it's purely by chance, we just slid it in this gap, and it completely fitted, which was awesome. So we put a frame uh, around it, and this is drilled all the way through the bottom of the van into the metal. Um, and yeah, it uh, has a little column over there to stop it sliding around a bit, just a bit of extra strength. But then it's against the wheel arch at the top, and then we've constructed this, uh, which you can't really see, but this, this is a bit of extra support. Um, we've also got this core flute in now. We didn't sh sh record a lot of this because it's just like boring woodwork. Um, and then this thing is going to have two doors on it. Um, and where's the gas thing? In the car. Okay, well. The, the uh, gas uh, shower heater thing is just going to fit in here. I don't want to use it, we're just going to hook it up. Um, and Amy's going to be, her bed is here. And purely by chance, when I was putting this in, we ended up with this little cubby, <laughs> which is right, right next to her bed, so she could keep all her snacks in there. Got, oh, this in. This is the door. Um, and that's storage, but also, as you know, we're gonna have people working in the van. So we have like a desk chair here, like a proper office desk chair, one for Amy um, on the other side. And so he wants where we can just like chuck the desk chairs underneath to like open up the space and turn it into kind of a lounge area. Um, so that's where, that's why it's such a big storage area under there. Uh, and then here, this took quite a while, it was difficult. We made, put wood, wooden columns in. Kind of just guessing where it goes. We got it. But also, we realised that because we're on the move, this has got a massive lip on it, on purpose. Um, so we could just like chuck keys in there and stuff, uh, and just have somewhere to put things down. Because obviously this behind me here, uh, this is all kitchen counter space. We don't want to put stuff on the kitchen counter space all the time. We need somewhere just to like chuck things that we're just using on the day. So that's in. Um, really useful feature. And then I don't know if I've shown you this, but this is the drawer that's going to have all my clothes in it. The great thing about this is it extends, if you come down here, anyway, 
it, it, it uses this space here, but it also uses this space here. And this space is just underneath the bed and it's just kind of wasted space. And we've also added some little details like to stop this falling out whilst we drive. We've got a little bolt in here now. So that just goes in there. Oh, somehow. And then that now won't move around. So yeah. We have covered. <laughs> da, 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 da. Look at that. Pretty cool. So I've just used the angle grinder to cut this. And now this will fit in. Let me do it. And the other piece, I'll do the same thing on the other piece. Cut a little lid on it, a little lip on it. And it goes together lovely. Look at that. How awesome is that? That's oh, great. We also added the floorboards on the Yeah, and we added too. some, yeah, this was just like this, the white metal. But we cut some floorboards to size and just uh, screwed them in. That looks pretty smart, I have to say. Okay. Now we've got to put these on like every single cupboard. Because at the moment we drove like 10 minutes and that it was like orchestral in here. There's like drums going off all around us because like every single one of them is like moving. Oh. Oh. I put my head in the cover when it went through. <laughs>